Well, before it gets too dark, I wanted to make a video of a couple of items here. Now, I paid about $20.50 for this diesel fuel canister, and I'm I'm really blown away by something, you know. I swear to God, you know, new cans are getting more dumb all the time. You see the lid here, right? It's this flexible top thing. I'm not sure, I almost get the feeling you're supposed to tear it out, but I'm not, you know, I'm not one for reading directions. I'm one for just making it work. If you screw that on there and this thing's not tight, rain and dirt and crap can get in there right into your nozzle and I've never seen a design like this in my life when it came to a fuel can this is beyond stupid even if you tore this off and tried to stick it in there it, it wouldn't work this cap should be absolutely solid all the way through the top I just I complained to the auto parts guy about that today and I showed it to him it's not just the diesel cans it's the red gas cans too all the way from the fives down to the one gallon they're all like this now at O'Reilly's and I, I said, man, this is beyond stupid. That means every engine that ever uses these things is getting dirt in it because if you leave these sitting anywhere, they get a little dusty and if you have them in the back of your truck or whatever, it just, it, God, what a, what a colossally bad idea. Anyway, so the reason I have to have spare fuel, diesel fuel, is because of my generator. Uh, I scored off the Craigslist again a few weeks ago. Um, this is, um, it'll start with a pull start. It'll also start with a battery. Um, you can see the cables hanging off there. This sucker, uh, is 3,500 watts. It's just a terrific generator. The only thing I need right now is a, um, oh, I don't know, something to, some kind of wheels or something on the bottom of this thing so that it won't, uh, scratch up the whole bottom of my garage floor so anyway um this is a, um, a diesel generator and the cool thing about it is it's injected there's no carburetor on it so when the thing has been sitting for a long time like when i first bought it it still starts it's amazing um i mean it's truly amazing a guy i bought this from it sat for uh a little over two years and we still started it I just it was shocking you know carbureted generators even the good Honda ones and Yamaha um, you know you got to take the carburetor cart part and clean it because it gets all gummy from fuel from fuel residue so you know direction direct injected generator you just can't beat it the thing makes a little bit more noise than a normal generator of this open frame configuration but you know it works like a charm man this is this is a pretty sweet generator. So I was going to use it for Burning Man and prospecting, but this year it looks like it'll be prospecting only. So um, yeah, it's all right. I'm pretty stoked about that. Next project that I tried to work on this morning, you can see a little bit. No, oh, here you can really see it. We had uh, storm warning even coming in and I had everything ready. Gonna whip out the sprayer here and uh, start spraying the garage. No, they moved the, the rain warning from yesterday to today. So I don't know if it's gonna be the same tomorrow, but I wanna get this damn place painted. So anyway, that's the next project. Um, Insights up on, uh, sorry, it's so dark. It's still up on ramps. Um, I've gotta get that uh, CV joint reassembled. Um, I didn't get any answers from the Insight Central group when I asked about how to how to do it. So I assume they're assuming there is enough information for me to just get it done. So I got to get this beast back on the road. It gets really good mileage. When I headed down to Kingman today, the old you know 16 mile per gallon high performance turbo diesel got me there, all 6,000 pounds, and this doesn't even weigh 2,000 pounds. So. Anyway, um, it gets about a third the mileage of the inside, so I really need to get it done. Uh, that's it pretty much for today. Um, the sun's already set. It's beautiful out. Nice breeze. Uh, it's been real cool today. I don't even know if it hit 90. Uh, right now, I, I can't even tell. It can't be, but 75. It's really terrific out. 
So anyway, I hope uh, everybody has a good temple burn tonight at Burning Man, and I hope everybody gets home safely. 70,000 people going down a two-lane road it does have its complications sometimes. Anyway, that's it for tonight. See you bye.